Hey guys, just a video of that famous sovereign citizen couple from uh, Oregon uh, getting uh, their truck, truck towed and getting a bunch of tickets again. Enjoy. Listen to the conversation being recorded, okay? Yes, it is being recorded. Great. The reason I'm stopping you is not aware, but your license is suspended. Okay. Okay. Do you have your driver's license? I, uh... Proof of insurance on you? I'm not in commerce, so I therefore don't need a driver's license. You're not in what? Commerce. Okay. Well, you're on public roadway within the state of Oregon. Okay, you need a driver's license. Yeah. Can you show me the law? The uh, law for no valid operator's license? I believe it's 806012. Um, or I can check that out. It might be 806010, but I can check that for you. Can you show me the law? Uh, driving while spin is A11175. But I need to see your license registration. Do you understand here. that here in Oregon and everywhere else, if you're not in commerce, you're not required to have a driver's license? Then why does every state have two different types of licenses? A regular driver's license and a commercial driver's license. Explain that to me, sir. I can't do that. You're not going to present that to me. That would be fraud. I can't do that. That would be... I, oh, they only offer commercial driver's licenses and I'm not in a commercial pack capacity. You should actually look up the Motor Vehicle Act. clear one more time. You're not willing to present me with a driver's license. Right. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm free to go. I'm being detained. On what grounds am I being detained? Uh, because you're stupid and your husband is stupid. That's why you're being get detained. Stupidity in public. On your grounds, I, I'm being detained. What grounds am I being detained? But on what grounds am I being detained? So he's refusing. Very intelligent people, they just put their pin in on their card, right on their own film, on their own channel. Uh, I cut that out. I'm sorry, babe, I should have been driving. It is 6.07 on 9-5-2013, my son's birthday. We have Officer Pitcher pulling us over. We've been recording the whole incident so far with a video camera, but I'm just recording on our audio as well because he's writing my wife, Laura, a citation for failure to carry an operator's license. Knowing full well that this is a crime he's committing, we just informed him that she is not in commerce. Therefore, she does not need a driver's license, registration, or insurance. This is that one time they actually didn't tow their vehicle, uh, but they told them they couldn't leave it, uh, towards the end here. Uh, in it, they had to get somebody with a license to come and get it. Anyway, let's continue. To hurry up? Mm-hmm. Well, the, the problem that I have is kind of like the way that you talk is not... It just seems kind of really intense, which it kind of is with on both parts, uh, me and you. But we're just so tired of it. Well, stop breaking the law, you dumbasses. That'll put a put a solution to all your problems. You won't keep getting stopped and get arrested and getting your vehicles towed while you got kids in the car. Well, I just want them to understand. And coming for me, he can't take it against you. In it so far, we've been sitting here. For him to write a citation, a contract. You okay, monkey? Okay. Yes, they have very young children, and they're in the back of the vehicle while he's pulling this bullshit. Very good parenting. Okay, hold on, baby. I should take that and step out and be like, "Excuse me," but. No, don't leave your vessel. <laughs> don't leave your vessel, honey. Don't leave the vessel. You could be boarded if you leave the vessel. What an idiot. 
He wa he's walking up with his hand on his gun. Why? Okay, Ms. Weaver. We need your citation for driving while suspended in violation, driving uninsured, failure to carry the vehicle registration. Your court date is 9-23-2013 at 8.30 a.m. at 225 West Dollar Street in Newport, Oregon, Lincoln County Courthouse. Okay? These are all violations. They're not mandatory appearances. You're appeared by mail at that right there. There's four options in the back to the way you take care of it. Okay? Any questions about your citation? No questions. Do you have a business card? Jeremy, don't do that. What's that? Do you have a business card? Uh, I'm sure I do. Would you like one? Yeah. Do you carry any bond? Bond. Do you? I've had this discussion with you numerous times. I don't know what you mean by bonds. I don't know any. Of that. Well, you have I, to have I'm bond or limited liability or insurance. Or statute laws, okay. So there's that. Uh, I'm not going to tow your vehicle, but you're not okay to drive away from here. Okay. If you drive away from here, you're going to be subject to more citations in the vehicle tow. Really? Yeah. Don't say anything. Just. Okay. So you got to get somebody with a license down here to drive. Damn it, they're not going to tow it this time. They usually tow their vehicle. They get their vehicle towed all the time. I'm surprised they still have it. It hasn't been sold through the impound lot yet. Uh, they keep doing this crap over and over and over again, and nothing changes. The, the city's making a fortune off these guys in fines and impound fees. It's just how dumb they are. is just beyond uh, explanation. Okay, there's that for you. Are you going to take it? Nope. Just make a dash home and get in the Durango? Sure. Or just... If they try to tow our vehicle with our kids in the truck, in the rain with no sweaters, Do you want to do it? I'll do it. Oh, please, please, please do it. Get in that driver's seat with no license and drive off out of there and see what happens. I'd like to see what happens. I hope they're waiting for you and they snatch you up. You promise that you won't put the car in park or anything like that? Like what do you mean in park? What did he say? Should I stop this? No, keep that recording the whole time as long as it'll record. What did he say about if we need somebody with a license? Yeah, to come down here and drive it. Yes, they're really that stupid. I should be the one that just goes. Why? Oh, I'm so sorry. What the fuck? I don't have any brakes on or anything. It just seems like it won't. Okay. Yeah, he's right, waiting right down there. But I'm just gonna go home, okay? You stupid son of a bitch. Which way do you want to go? Straight. He's right there. He's gonna pull, us, pull out anyways. Uh-huh. So at least if I get home, if, you, if they try to arrest me, then... I've been in this room for eight years now, Clarice. Just put it somewhere safe. <laughs> They're now plotting their devious escape plan. I'm sure this is going to go off without a hitch. Everything should be okay. They should make it home safe and sound. And that should be the end of it. You understand they're probably going to try to arrest me? Don't sign anything. Come on.
Oh my, what's that noise I hear in the background? Pulling the great Steve McQueen here. When we get out, um, keep the keys in, I'll lock the door. Keep going, don't stop now, you're almost getting away. What do you want, this? Yeah. Tell him your son had to poop. Hey ma'am, my son has to take a crap. Okay. Put your hands back. Put your hands you, back. Are you detaining me? Yes, do you I understand am. this is a deprivation of my life? Turn around, put your hands behind your back. And do you also understand? Turn around, uh, put your hands behind your back. You're not real FBI, are you? The no trespassing oh. sign right there, 164265. You don't understand. Oh, we're not quite finished yet. We're going to watch this truck get towed away here. This is the second part to this video. Your license is being seized. It's going to be a warning for the crime. Is that a license? You, it was a driver's license that you oh, gave me. It was oh, not. Sorry. I thought it, it was, was an ID. ID card, so I am required to seize that because it's a. I'm sorry, I didn't. It's the it. crime of failing to return a suspended or revoked license. So it's not my property, is it? It's not. It is actually a crime that you could be arrested for. That's not going to happen today. It's just going to be a warning, and I'm going to be seizing the license. Okay? Even if someone pays for it, it's not their property. So that is the property of the state of Oregon. You are to return that when your license is suspended. There you go. Both got suspended licenses and they didn't return them when they were suspended, which is most states that I know of, you have to do that. But anyway, he's seizing their licenses for now, but he's not done yet. Do you have any questions about I that? just wish that you'd like let me, you know, buy you coffee or breakfast and talk. You know people are afraid of you. Definitions are very important when it comes to creating these statutes. And it, yep. just, it clearly states within the definitions and with, within other parts of the laws that, you know, there's hundreds of Supreme Court cases that support our rights to travel unencumbered by statutes. Well, even no in their Oregon population. Revised statutes. Yeah. As usual, they're 100% wrong, but that's just par for the course. They've lost their vehicle and paid so many fines, you'd think they'd get it by now, but they don't. They only have a couple kids to support, but they don't care. They'll keep paying them fines. If I go to court, never mind. <laughs> I'm just not understanding why you think the judge would have anything. Because dangerous things happen. Dangerous things happen in court too. You know, okay. they get snagged up and beat. I mean, come on. You you are a state cop and you know what happened to Lavoy Fenico. You guys are scary. You really are. Okay. What I'm asking right now is, do you have any questions about your paperwork? No, I'll let you go. Okay. There are your documents. Take care. But I don't have a plate in the front. And so that's why he pulled me over. And now he's stealing my property. <sighs> and they won't talk to us because, like, the people are bad. and People who repeatedly break the law don't get their vehicles registered or insured while they have kids in them and drive around on suspended licenses over and over and over again are bad people. You are bad people. Heaven forbid we tell them that what they're doing is wrong. And you don't have to be an expert and know all this stuff. They should just be willing to listen. We're telling them that they're hurting the people and we're telling them that the people are afraid of them and they don't care. I'll have to look up the meaning of delusional, but I'm pretty sure I know what it means. And it's probably a picture of this woman and her husband. I don't care. 
talk to the impound guy too, just to ask how much it'll cost. Like what are their basic charges? Oh, it'll be for tomorrow and it'll probably be like $400 for the tow and like $50 if we don't get it out by tomorrow. It's like probably $50 a day. Like a warning or something? Yeah, for a warning for the... Yeah, but, okay, so the driver's license doesn't belong to you, so why are you paying for it? Oh, he's in my rig! Yeah, hey, you're gonna drive it up there so that you don't have to drag it up there. Well, his pants better be clean, because my <laughs> truck is, I'm just joking, <laughs> my truck is spotless. I highly doubt the truck is spotless, unless her idea of spotless is only 250 to 300 cockroaches in the front seat and uh, less than that in the back seat. Anyway, uh, the tow truck driver is in her vehicle driving it up onto the ramp truck and it's getting towed away and they just easily discuss how it's going to cost $400 for the tow and $50 a day every day they don't pick it up. And the vehicle is not even registered to them, it's registered to some girl named Lisa. And Lisa doesn't have a license either so nobody can pick it up until somebody with a valid driver's license and insurance on the truck picks the truck up. But they don't seem to have any problems spending all that money on that while well, uh, they got kids to feed and rent to pay and good lord knows. I bet they don't even have a valid place to live. They're probably living in that truck. Anyway, uh, that's the gruesome twosome from Toledo, Oregon. They just never get old, do they? Anyway, folks, don't waste your life on this nonsense. It's just ridiculous. It's expensive and it's ridiculous. And it's a good way to end up a good deal of your life in jail. Anyway, have a good one. Bye.